A group of biologists want to bring jaguars back to the United States, particularly New Mexico. This comes decades after the population here was wiped out. But as News 13's Jamie Seymour explains, the move comes with controversy. Jaguars may be thought of as exotic jungle cats, but their roots extend much further north, including New Mexico. Jaguars evolved in North America thousands, maybe even millions of years before they expanded their range southward to Central and South America. There were once hundreds of these big cats in New Mexico, but after hunters wiped out the population decades ago, there's just a rare sighting every few years, like this one in New Mexico's Boot Hill back in 2007. A lot of people weren't even literate, so we don't have a ton of records, but we do have some records from the Gila National Forest. Now conservation biologists are urging the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service to bring the threatened species back to southern Arizona and New Mexico. They will also aid the struggling jaguar population in northern Mexico. Michael Robinson with the Center for Biological Diversity has also tracked the reintroduction of the Mexican gray wolf, but hopes that of the jaguar will come much sooner. Uh, they were reintroduced way back in 1998 and their population has grown slowly and now we have 186 of them. Still, some are opposed. New Mexico Cattle Growers Association tells us it'd be a burden to farmers and ranchers in the state. Still, Robinson says it'd be good for the ecosystem they once evolved in. We have this opportunity to do right by an animal that, uh, that we exterminated, to do right by the ecosystem, and I think it's also doing right by our society as well. Biologists say it could still be another five to ten years before we see them back in the Gila. Jamie Seymour, KRQB News 13. We also reached out to the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, which would play a large role in getting jaguars to the state. They said they're not ready to comment just yet.